Yo, 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 what the deal? It's your boy X.E.L.O. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. Thank you for coming back to the channel. But if you are new here, definitely like, subscribe, hit the bell notification so that'll let you know when I drop another video. And today, I just want to say thank you to the Cakewalk community, to the YouTube uh, community for actually supporting the channel. I believe I'm at like 500 subscribers right now. So I decided let's actually do a giveaway. So um, I'm actually going to give away the cow scripts that I've actually been using to do chops inside of Cakewalk. And thanks to this guy right here for making it happen. Um, uh, he's the one who actually created the script. Um, I just looked for him on the forum and he was like, here, let's take it. So I'm going to give it out to you guys. Uh, show you how I use it, show how to set it up, show you how everything is getting done uh, inside Cakewalk by BandLab. If you're ready to take this trip, let's go. All right, so here we are in Cakewalk. Uh, once again, this is my light theme. I have two themes, a light and a dark. Uh, the link will be below in the description if you do want to actually get any of these themes. It is actually free as well. Um, like I said, the cow scripts will be below as well for free so definitely download them you know help with your workflow and you know your aesthetics i think it's really important to have things visuals that you can actually feel comfortable with all right so with that being said let's actually get into the uh how to get the cow scripts uh uh into cakewalk by band lab all right so here i am in my computer um i'm actually in my c drive and I'm gonna go down to cakewalk content. So this is what you wanna look for, the cakewalk content. It'll have your uh, stuff for your cakewalk and you wanna go to cakewalk core. And once you're in cakewalk core, you will see cow scripts. Um, I've done some editing, so that's why it's on the little notepad instead of showing the cakewalk little icon. But he, here are the things that you actually downloaded. It's called break notes into twos break notes into threes, break notes into fours. And these are the cow scripts that I've actually been using to actually do like hi-hat rolls, to do like um, a ARP kind of a uh, feel inside of tracks. So th these are really great things to actually have in your arsenal. So I'm giving it to you guys so you can actually use it. So let me show you how I actually have it set up and then I'll show you how I actually use it uh, on uh, some sounds inside the piano roll. All right, so what we want to do uh, once we're in here and we ac you actually have it downloaded, it's going to be only a, like three little notes. It's not like a, you know, a big file or anything. So you want to go up to edit. Once you're in edit, you're going to go to preferences. All right. And once you're in preferences, you want to actually go down here to where it says advanced. All right. And once you're in advance, you'll have the option for a keyboard shortcut. So this is what you want to be on this keyboard shortcut here. And once you're in keyboard shortcut, you see this option that says search. You just click in here and you type in cow. All right. And what that'll do is bring up anything that has to do with cow. So here you see cow program files. This is where we want to be. So as you can see, I have mine set up uh, to break notes uh, into twos on Alt U, break notes into three into Shift U, and break notes into fours into Control U. The the U function with these uh, other keys are not actually linked to anything in Cakewalk. As you can see, the U here has nothing attached to it. That's why it's not uh, dark like these uh, other ones. So. You can actually set up the things for the you to actually do uh, all these cuts for you. So this is how I currently have mine set up. You can also set it up for other things for Cal. So I'll use my legato and I also use strum. So these are the shortcuts that I created on here. Definitely uh, check out my uh, video if you want to actually learn how to set these up further. But let's get into the action here. All right, so I just have a regular TTS one keyboard on here. I'm gonna do a whole note, right? And um, I'm putting it on C. 
Um, so let's say that I wanted to uh, cut this in half, right? So uh, I like the note. I'm gonna hold down Alt in my U and boom, it cuts it in half. So it actually made two, as you can see. So let's say that um, you didn't want that, right? Say you wanted to cut it in three. So I'm gonna do a shift in U and boom, it cuts it in three. So now I have three. All right, so I'm gonna do a control Z, get rid of that. And now I'm gonna do a control in U and it's gonna cut it into fours. So now I have four cuts on here. So this gives you that option to actually cut into twos, threes, and fours. So this is really good if you're doing like hi-hat rolls, you can just kind of copy this over and then, you know, you do your duplicates or whatever. All right, so let's say this was your hi-hat roll and you wanted to kind of have this one cut up more. So control U and boom, now I have some slices there. All right, so let's actually kind of zoom in. All right, so let's say this one here, right? No, this one at the end. So let's say this one, I wanted to cut this one further, so I'm gonna slice it by two. So now I have a slice by two, and say this one I wanted to slice by two. So boom, now I have this slice by two. So as you can see, the, the script will just keep cutting um, which makes it awesome, like I said, for hi-hat rolls, if you actually use it for that. It's just something that you can actually add to your arsenal. Very good, very cool. These are the cow scripts that I'm giving you guys for free. All right, so if you didn't actually wanna do like the, uh, the shortcuts like I have on here, just delete this. All right, so let's say that um, you wanted to just use it for the cow script, right? So let's go and add uh, another whole note in here. All right, so I have my whole note in here, right? And you wanna go up to process and you wanna go to run cow, or you can hit control plus F1 as you see here as a shortcut. So now you can choose which one you want to do. So if you want to do this one, you just click on the two and hit okay. Um, I think it slows down the workflow by doing it that way, but if you prefer to do it that way to make sure you know exactly which one you're pressing, and which one you're doing, that's fine too. You can do it that way. Uh, but these are just, like I said, another tools for you guys to help you guys out. If you are from FL, you know how useful this can actually be if you're actually trying to you chop up anything inside the piano roll itself. So this is why um, I asked for a, a lot of people, hey, how do you do this? Because it was like one of those things in FL that, that helped me out so much when I was actually doing beats and doing my drums, you know, and hi-hat rolls and things like that. Uh, instead of actually going in here and, you know, trying to... Uh, Or if you do like a, a T for your tools and you do like your draw tool, you kind of just uh, draw them out. So, I mean, it it can be done uh, this way, uh, but I just, I just like the fact that I can do, do it with a, a script and just like click and key just like I can in FL. Once again, this is uh, something that, you know, help you guys out. This is why I actually did this to kind of help you guys out as much as I possibly can uh, in your journey inside of Cakewalk. Uh, and like I said before, I thank you guys for the support. If you have like any questions or comments, leave them below in the in the comment section. Um, if you haven't already, definitely like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. 
I'm giving value to the community, to the people, everybody who actually watches the channel. And like I said, thank you guys. Thank you guys for the support. Uh, but once again, it's your boy, x.e.l.o. Until the next time, peace.